Hello and welcome to Quality Assurance course. In today's class, we will be talking about software development lifecycle. The objective of today's class is to learn why do we need STLC and what is STLC. We will also learn the different phases of STLC in detail. Any development has to follow proper process in order to produce a quality product. Let's take the example of building a house. Building a house needs a process and it goes through different phases. Process includes planning, approval, design and construction. Similarly, development of an application also needs a process and goes through various phases. This process is called as the software development life cycle. So the process of developing an application or a product is called the software development life cycle. This life cycle is divided into different phases. Now let's take a look at the different phases of software development life cycle. The first phase would be project initiation followed by requirement analysis and gathering, system design, system development, system testing, user acceptance testing, system implementation or production, and finally system maintenance. Each phase has a definite start and end and there are deliverables at the end of each phase. Deliverables meaning the output of each phase. This output can be either document or the code. Now let's try to understand each phase in detail. Let's take simple example of a small business. Say an online bookstore. In this business, to sell the products online, you need to have a website with features to display all the products and the website should provide the ability for customers to purchase the products. As a business owner, your expertise is only in publishment domain, meaning you are familiar with skills required to run your business. For example, skills like keeping track of the latest editions, selling books, keeping track of pricing, and other publishment skills. The business owner might not be technically sound to develop a website. That's when the business owner contacts or hires a professional service to meet their requirements. In this case, to develop a website for their business. This professional service would be the software development company or the IT company. So this is how the process of project initiation begins. The business owner or the business users contacts the IT with their business requirements in order to develop an application. So when the clients who are the business users identify their business requirements and comes to the software company to get their requirement developed into an application, that is how the project initiation begins. So this is how the business users or the business owner initiates the development cycle. When the business user contacts the IT company with their requirements, they will describe various business needs like what is the purpose of the website or the application to be developed, who will be their customers, how to display products online, what are the various features they require on the website. The professionals who are responsible for gathering the requirements from the clients are called as the business analysts and the clients are called as the business users or the business owners. The business analysts can be a team of member or can be an 
individual based upon the size of the project. It is the responsibility of the business analyst to document everything from the major functionalities up to the minute details. The business analysts are responsible for gathering these requirements and then documenting this requirement. This document is called as the requirement document. The requirement document contains the detailed business requirement. Now let's go back to the example of online bookstore. In this scenario, requirement document would contain details like how to display products, how many products should be displayed per page, how to search for products, what company information should be displayed on the home page, how to display the logo. These are some of the requirements that would be listed in the requirement document. All these requirements are collected from the client and are gathered in the requirement document. So the requirement document explains how the application should function. The requirement document contains the detailed requirements of the application. This requirement document is one of the deliverables of the requirement phase of SDLC. Requirement document is like a backbone of the application. All other phases of SDLC refer to this requirement document. Requirement document should be very well written in order to develop a quality product. So the business analysts play a major role in the development of application. Now let's look at the other deliverable of the requirement phase, which is the use case document. Business analysts, along with the guidance of business user, decide the functional flow of the application. Functional flow defines the way in which the application should behave under a given scenario. The use case document contains basic path and alternate paths for each functionality of the application. This basic path and alternate path describes the functional flow of the application for each scenario. Basic path is the most straightforward path the application would take for a given scenario. Whereas alternate paths are the different routes the application can go through for the same scenario. So in this way, each scenario or each functionality of the application can have at least one basic path and either none or many alternate paths. Now let's try to understand this basic and alternate paths better by going back to our example of online bookstore. Let's take a scenario from our example of online bookstore. The functionality or the scenario is searching for products or books. Thank you for viewing the video. Because of the video size limitation, we cannot post the complete video. Please visit www.learningdom.com to view the remaining video. Thank you.